me, Gussie. Let's go. At Leah Ellis' house, the dogs are part of the family. They have their four-year-old. This is Gus the Rottweiler. And their five-year-old. Kenai. Kenai, come. Kenai the Husky. He's actually my daughter's dog. For a treat, he'll do tricks. High five. Good boy. And both can do this. Wait. They wait for a treat until they're told to get it. Okay, go ahead. She says this is typical behavior. But what happened Tuesday morning was anything but. I heard them barking and making noises that I haven't heard them make before. Then she saw Kenai. He had some spray on his face. Um, once I noticed that, then of course I became a little irate, went out and confronted the man that was in my neighbor's driveway and asked him if he sprayed the dogs. He paused and said yes he had. She found out it was pepper spray and the man who allegedly discharged it is an employee of Hydromax USA the authorized contractor for Puget Sound Energy. He opened up the gate and let himself, let himself in, apparently. He was there to check the gas line. And at some point when he was in our yard, he contacted the dogs that came through the back, wind, the back uh, door that was open. After making a call to the company, she found out more. Supervisor said he pepper sprayed the dogs to create separation. She says Gus was hurt in the process. When our Rottweiler ran away, he injured his back hind quarter, so he had to go to the vet. In a statement, Puget Sound Energy says we send our heartfelt apologies to this customer. We are reviewing what happened and seeing what can be learned from this incident. Yes, poor puppy. As Leah looks back, she says if the man had just used the doorbell, it would have all been different. I would have answered the door. I would have closed my back door so the dogs were inside. He could have done whatever he had to do and been on his way, but... Unfortunately, he didn't do that. And she feels Gus and Kenai ended up paying the price. In Redmond, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. The worker told Leah that he called out, identifying that he was with PSC before entering that gate, but she was inside the house and didn't hear him. Tonight, PSC says that it is their practice to enter people's property during reasonable hours to perform necessary work. They won't contact the customer beforehand unless they actually have reason to do so.